a quick demo of using uh, Oracle data miner. I have a table called car sales and uh, there's about 10,700 rows. So I have a number of columns. Car ID is basically a primary key for the table. Car model, year, price, transmission, mileage, fuel type, tax, tax rate, basically miles per gallon and engine size. Now what I want to do is I want to use a regression model to predict the price of the car. So the price is the uh, dependent variable, the X, uh, the Y variable and the X variables are any of the other variables that I select. So let me go into data miner. Okay, so I'm just connecting to data miner and I will start a new project called car sales. Within the project, I need to define a reg uh, workflow. So I'll just say regression model one. I can define multiple workflows for the present. This is the workflow I'm defining. Now for this workflow, I can select which data. Normally I could take uh, another schema as the data source, which is how you'd probably define your, your data mining user would not have the data. It, the data is in another schema. But in this case, I've already got all the data in my in my DM user. So I'm just going to pu pull that table as my data source. So I select the table car sales. Okay. For the present, I'm going to select all the columns as attributes. I could actually filter down and reduce the number of columns, but uh, which I will do when I actually build the regression model. I can also explore the data if I want to. So I select the explore data. Then here I right click and connect the car sales to explore data. And in the explore data, I can select the type of statistics I want to view, average, distinct, histogram, and uh, I let me not select mode because uh, I don't want mode. I can just deselect mode. I can deselect certain statistics that I, do, I don't want to see. So these are all the attributes, transmission year, price, and all that. And these are the statistics. Okay. So then I can run the workflow. Then I run the explore data. You can see here it is still running. So now that I have it, I can view the data. So for each of the attributes, I can view all the data. Now remember, I told you there were about a, a 1,700 rows. Not all the rows are taken because this is based on sampling. So I have only 2,037 distinct car IDs. But for that sample, I can see what are the values that were taken. So let's see price, 1,140 distinct prices. What is the average price? What is the median price? What is the min? 1,975. The max is $133,000. Uh, and uh, there are 23 different models, car models in this data set. If I want, I can go back to my data set and see the models. You can see here are all the different models, A4, A1, A5, A6, A3, and so on. So I can explore data using the explore data uh, feature in the workflow editor. Then I want to build my model. So I take a regression as the model that I want to build. Then I link my car sales using right click connect to regression build. Okay. Now here is where I want to say I don't want to do sampling. I could do sampling, but let me say I don't want to do sampling. For the build, my target, remember the Y variable that is dependent is the price. I want to predict the price. The case ID is the primary key. If I don't build the case ID, if I don't have a primary key or case ID, it will be, uh, it will take much more time to process because it's going to build its own uh, primary key. I don't want to use support vector machine, so I can remove the support vector machine as a, as a model to be selected. So I'm just going to run the generalized linear model. I don't want to do any partitioning right now. Sampling I've disabled. Now, which columns do you want to take as my inputs? For the present, let me say I don't want 
to build a model based on engine, engine size so i can click here and say ignore fuel type whether it's petrol or diesel or hybrid let me use that mileage that is the number of miles uh, the car has traveled model for the present let me just ignore model because so many different models let's just ignore the model for the present miles per gallon definitely is is a predictor of price so i'll use that price is the target so you can see it shows the target tax is not such a significant let me just ignore tax transmission type i'll just put it in and year of the car so these are the uh, input columns that i've selected mining type just shows what type of value it is numerical or categorical fuel type is petrol diesel or hybrid so that's a categorical that's a text type so these are all the inputs i've defined i don't need to use text here i've disabled sampling i don't need to build partitions i can actually partition based on certain attributes for example i could partition based on model model or partition based on uh, year but for the present let me not do any partitioning so my target is price i am predicting price the primary key is car id and my input columns are the selected ones only fuel type mileage miles per gallon transmission and year so i say okay then i can run this so you can see it's running the workflow you can see here in the status bar it shows that the workflow is running it has run then i can view the model i just build only general regression uh, general linear regression so i have only that one not support vector machine so these are the coefficients i can order the outputs by uh, standardized coefficient if i want negative is because the more miles per gallon the lower the price will be for that car so you have a negative coefficient for fuel type petrol is a lower negative coefficient for fuel type hybrid is high that means people prefer hybrid car people are willing more willing to pay for a hybrid car than a pe than a petrol car mileage again the older the car the longer the car has been running the lower price so you have a negative coefficient and transmission semi automatic and automatic do not make much of a difference so actually i can i can do another regression run and exclude transmission as <coughs> one of my input variables so this is how i can build my uh, regression model based on the car data and this is much more details i have for the given input variables what is the variance i getting what are, what is the error sum of squares what is the degrees of freedom all the different types of statistics that you want are available here r square basically the coefficient of determination i can find here <coughs> coefficient of variation coefficient of determination all those attribute all those statistics are also visible here and coefficient for individual attributes that is all the inputs to the model